Welcome guys to another reloading session with Seabass. Today I'm going to be reloading some 300 blackout cartridges. These are 125 grain, uh, just regular FMJs. Um, got some of these out here. I'm going to be using uh, CCI small rifle primers number 400 and I'm using CFE black this powder is fucking awesome for 300 blackout you can load subsonics and supersonics it's pretty cool um, and I'm gonna dive in a little bit about the 550 what it does how I have my particular press set up so Station one is usually your de re, uh, your resize and deprime station, and as well as priming. So, typically on the downstroke, you're gonna resize and deprime, and then on your upstroke, at the bottom of the stroke, you're gonna put a new primer in. But I actually like sizing and depriming rifle brass in advance, so my station's empty, and all I'm doing here. It's priming brass that's already been resized. Uh, my second station is just a powder drop and expansion. So this station is going to drop a powder charge and expand the case. This third station oops, is a seating die. It's just going to seat the bullet down to uh, whatever depth you set it to. And then final station is the uh, Lee factory crimp die. And all that's doing is crimping. Let's see if you can see that. Crimping around the case. You see that little mark around there? So I'll just kind of show you guys uh, how to load with this. So you let's see, drop a bullet in. Well, let me check this case actually. Rotate it, add in the case. And then on a 550, this is very important. You have to press back to seat the primer. Okay. And I'm just gonna, I don't know, do 10 or so just to sort of show you guys how quickly you can reload on a 550. I'm not sure if you guys saw that or not, but some of the uh, powder, it's very fine powder, this CFE black stuff, and it's kind of a, you know, almost like a compressed load, so some of the powder sticks to the funnel and falls off. It's not that big of a deal. I don't really care. It's, um, I'm at the very bottom end of the, uh, of the load chart. that up. Hmm. So what's happening is actually my uh, shell plate is a little tight so I'm not getting it all the way indexed and it's the bullet is, he is hitting the uh, side of the seating die, so I'll try to watch that. Maybe. God, I hope you can't hear that fucking cat.
if you can. Well, sorry, this is not a professionally produced video, so if, unfortunately this is all you get. With the 550, uh, once you get a good rhythm going, it's pretty smooth. Like, I think it's just all about rhythm on uh, grabbing your cases and your bullet. Once you get that down, you're just chugging along. It's pretty fast. Watching my powder because I'm going to finish this one pound bottle of CFE Black and open up a new one. Nope. Yeah, some of these uh, cases that I have have a little bit of a... These have a military crimp on them. So some of them are a little tight. Got to kind of rotate them a little bit to get it in there. All right, and I'm going to show you what to do when you're getting towards the end of your loading session, I guess. You just pull on through. about 20 cases of 300 blackout I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you didn't like it too bad <laughs>